Okay, so let's do it, darling. Fragrance word association game. You say the name of a fragrance. I say a word or a few words that spring to mind when you say the name of that fragrance. Go. Aventus. Pineapple. La Nuit de l'Homme. Jeremy Fragrance. Dior Homme. The smell of my mum's lipstick. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Raquel Welsh's boobs. What have they got to do with Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather? Nothing, I just think about them a lot. Ow! That hurt. So here we go with the review coming up guys and do please bear in mind that I was sent this one free from Pana London for the purpose of review. I won't let that affect my opinion, it's only a first impressions anyway so I'm not going to really come down one way or the other, I'm just going to try and describe what I smell at first sniff. Hello everyone, so just a quick video today, this is going to be a first impressions and unboxing on this new fragrance Pineapple Essenza from Pana London. Before we get into that, let's just find out a little bit more about the company and some of their other fragrances. Pana London is a luxury brand based in London. They specialize in luxury shirts, silk ties and pocket squares and have recently stepped into the world of fragrances. I think they have six fragrances currently available. Uh, the first four that came out I think were Italian Citrus, Chocolate Vanille, Velvet Oud and Roses Musk. Then we've got a much talked about one called Pink Champagne Truffle which is a gourmand fragrance and we have this new one Pineapple Essenza. Um, the first four that I mentioned, uh, Velvet Oud, Chocolate Vanille, Italian Citrus and Roses Musk are available as 50ml EDPs and they are £69 in the UK. Pink Champagne Truffle is just a 30ml, it's more expensive at £79 and this one, Pineapple Essenza, is also only available in a 30ml but that's £59. The website is in the UK but they do ship worldwide, I'll put the link to the website in the description below. I've tried all their fragrances, uh, I quite liked all of them, a couple of them weren't really my thing, the chocolatey one and the pink champagne truffle, not so much for me. I really really love Italian Citrus and Velvet Oud, they are absolutely superb in my opinion. Let's see if Pineapple Essenza measures up, of course, what we're all wondering is, is it a clone of Creed Aventus? The notes that I'm going to talk about in a minute are very very similar, but I know nothing about the smell. Is it going to be an Aventus copy? Okay, so that's the information about them. Let's get a close-up look at the box and bottle as I open it. Okay, so here is the box for Pineapple Essenza. Looks pretty nice and we've got a nice label there with some pineapples on the label. Let's see if I can get into it with some scissors here. So it's wrapped in cellophane. Let's see if we can get that off. Then we can find out what we have. Okay, so that comes off. The box is very nice. It's a brown box with a little bit of texture to it, which feels quite nice. Not cheap at all. So it feels pretty good so far. And this is kind of magnetically attached here, the lid. And then we open it up and we get a very nice card inside. And that's got the notes on here. So I'll try and get that to focus we can just about make out what that says. So nice little gold pineapples on there. List of the notes, so in this one we have pineapple, black currant, Sicilian lemon, lily, tonka bean, patchouli, bourbon vanilla and white musk. So let's have a look at the bottle. Now this is looking really appealing. Let's check it out. So here is the bottle. Beautiful gold plate on the front with uh, embossed pineapples there. Uh, and it's golden, the lid golden as well, the juice is a kind of light yellow colour, nothing much going on on the rest of the bottle, the usual label on the bottom, but you've got to love that bling label there for the Pineapple Essenza bottle. More importantly though, let's find out how it smells. We've heard the notes, they sound a lot like Creed Aventus, you've got to say that. I'm not sure if it's actually an out and out Aventus clone, but let's find out. Okay, so here it is, Pineapple Essenza from Pana London. First chance to sniff it, let's see what we've got here. Here goes, two sprays I'm gonna do. Spray straight away, okay. Big sprays, very big sprays. Let's give it a moment and find out what the opening is like. Okay, my first impression is I don't think it's an Aventus clone at all. That does not smell anything like Aventus. 
it's very sweet. It's, it's much sweeter than Aventus, so maybe I'm gonna have to just describe this one and stop banging on about Aventus. Yeah, so if, if there's a pineapple note in here, I wouldn't immediately recognize it as being a pineapple scent. I'm not always great on notes. Is there's definitely a sort of sweet tropical fruit vibe, but it's a sweet type of take on pineapple, if indeed pineapple is what I'm smelling here. And they mentioned blackcurrant in the notes, so I think that blackcurrant sort of almost on a level with the pineapple. There's, there's a real sweet fruitiness in this fragrance, and the company were saying a lot about it being fruity. And they also compared it to one of their own fragrances, Italian Citrus, which I really like, which has a mango note. And I'm really reminded of that one a little bit. It's not the same, but there's a similarity. It's very sweet, it's very, very smooth. It's not a tart sort of citrus or a sharp pineapple note. It's a sweet, smooth, fruity take on a mixture of lemon, pineapple, blackcurrant. So very sweet, very unisex, I would say, at first. I do get a little bit of a white floral theme. Lily is mentioned in the notes, so I, yeah, so a little bit of a white floral thing, I would say, going on there. I wouldn't have picked out Lily specifically as a note. And there's a lot of sweetness. I think we've got vanilla and tonka, haven't we? So it's almost leaning towards a, a hint of a semi-gourmand kind of thing going on here. So. It's a really unisex fragrance. It's very, very pleasant. I enjoy the opening a lot. It's very fruity, very rich and smooth. And it smells quite classy and I really, it smells quite refined. Definitely not a big macho chest beating scent or anything like that. Unisex, sweet, smooth, interesting and new and different. It's a new, unique fragrance that they've come up with. It's not a copy of anything. I rather like it on the opening. That's all I'm going to say for now. Worth checking out, definitely. I've really liked a couple of their others. I really like uh, Velvet Oud and Italian Citrus by them. And I think uh, another one is the Pink Champagne Truffle one. A lot of people who like gourmands really love that one. I'm not a gourmand lover, so it's just a bit so-so for me. But this one, very, very interesting so far. If you're looking for an Aventus clone, I think, unless I've got it all wrong, I don't think this is one. But it is a really interesting and perhaps unique scent in its own right. So check out... Pan Out London Fragrances, they make some really good stuff and I'm hopefully going to do a full review on this one very, very soon. Thanks for joining me. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye-bye.